Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at a asset management tool um, called Somatic PDM Maintenance Station. So um, this is a standalone PC that's really designed to, to work um, with any uh, PLC or SCADA system because it sits on the Profinet layer and it's not concerned with the top end process control. So we'll, we'll have a look at this and hopefully as we go through it will make more sense. So we, we're, we're looking at the, the current challenges for the, for the process industry. Um, the plant runtime, you know, it, I, normally we say like a, a lifetime cycle is 15 years but really it's as long as what you you need your plant to run to so if you're in the automotive industry where you you're, you're making cars for instance um, your production line might have a seven year ten year life cycle because that's how long you're making that partic particular model um, and then it gets renewed but um, you know for for certain industries like the you know say the chemical industry you know that nothing really changes that that uh, product is made the same way from day one so we've got to keep it running um, it needs to be available we can't have downtime issues and and, and really you know uh, false alarms or applications not working properly because of bad instrumentation um, measurements can be the main contributing factor to, to things going wrong but really it's mechanical assets failing that to generate the most costs so things like valves and, and pumps when when they go wrong they're, 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 there's a big cost but you can put things on around those so if you've got a pump then you can put a flow meter on there to, to, to monitor the flow rate from that pump at a given time and the velocity so there's diagnostics that you can get from instruments that give you an insight into to how well things are performing and of course this one I hear quite a lot um, you've got a new plant and you've put the lovely green cable all over it to, to get to Profinet communications or it could be Profibus DP Profibus PA and you're not really using the digitalization aspect of that communication concept. You're just bringing back the process value. So that's what this is all about, is, is how we can get more from these intelligent instruments. So if we have a look at you know, the digitalization philosophy, it, you know, now we've got this green cable and we we, we've got you know, the network infrastructure to bring back copious amounts of data. We haven't got the bottlenecks associated with Profibus DP that we've had in the past. We, we can bring back more and more information from the field, but we don't want to increase the complexity for getting the plant up and running. This needs to come back on what is commonly being referred as a second data channel. And that brings back the intelligence from the field, from the smart instruments, without affecting the top automation layer. So let's have a look at our plant running. On the left hand side, that could be a SCADA, a HMI or a DCS, depending on the complexity of your application. And to keep that plant running, you're relying on you know level measurement, flow measurement, pressure measurement you know, instruments giving you data, so you can perform your day-to-day -day tasks. If something fails, all of a sudden production stops. And if that's a mechanical asset, then we've got problem. You could have a you know a, an instrument that has um, exotic materials, you know, uh, it could have um, uh, platinum, for instance, for chemical compatibility. Well, that's fine, but when that breaks, that's not normally something that you can get on a fast delivery. So, 
you're going to have to start running your process in hand while you wait for those products to be delivered. So you're slowing production down. You're taking people away from jobs that they need to. So what we need is something that can sit on the same network. And this is where Somatic Process Device Manager, and in this case, Maintenance Station, comes into play. It's a PC at the moment. Um, there is a new version coming out that's going to be a VM. So we'll have to wait later into the, the year 2020 to see what that looks like. But what it's designed to do is it's designed to sit on your Profinet uh, network and it will analyze the diagnostics from the instruments continuously without affecting the flow of data into your main process control. So it's a transparent device as far as everything else is, is concerned. So now we have something monitoring the the flow of data into our network. Um, what can we do with that? Well, it's continuously analyzing the, the diagnostics. That's the first thing. It sits on these communication networks, so Profinet, Profibus, DP, PA, Heart, um, and uh, that includes Wireless Heart. And it's designed to sit on your plants with a screen plugged into it and when anything goes wrong you can open it up and interrogate the instrument and get the error message from the instrument in clear plain text so that's fine but really the next step is is how can we automate that because it's brilliant because it's sat there monitoring the faults and it will tell you when there's a fault but what we want to do is try and stop our plant getting to that situation so we need some way of recording the diagnostics from these instruments and trending them over time well that is built into maintenance station and it will send out that data to the cloud via a secure interface which we call the data security gateway and it sends that information out as an XML file. And that XML file can then be analysed by cloud apps. Or it could be an on-premise app um, if you have uh, an instance where you don't want to send the data off-site. And the idea is to, to put that data into some sort of KPI that you can use to... to better plan your maintenance schedules. Um, of course, we're, we're going to get the, the odd occasion where you change the process and the instrument fails. Um, and we haven't logged, that's not been a gradual occurrence, but the beauty is if you've been logging the data, you'll see all of the intelligent data before and after you made those process changes. So it might be that you've decided to increase the speed on an agitator to mix the product look quicker but because you've done that you've created an issue with foam well the diagnostics from the from the radar device at the top of the vessel will give you an indication of, of what's happening with regards to the measurements and the possible causes another example is electric pneumatic valve positioners that are co uh, connected to pneumatic valves you know, their primary job is to control the valve, but in that instrument is is a, a realm of intelligence that's being logged internally, but it's stranded. It's not being used. Um, so if we can get that out and log that over time, one of your mechanical assets that takes up a lot of your time maintaining on site can now be looked after so we're continuously looking at this mechanical wear friction things like leakage if you've got a pneumatic valve and the top of your diaphragm is leaking two things will start to happen you'll you'll start to have problems with your control loops because it will start hunting but more importantly you're losing money because you're using a a device to generate that compressed air and that is a motor that's being driven 
continuously to keep the pressure up in your system because you've got leaks. So this will tell you if you've got problems with leaks on your pneumatic systems and you can correct it and it can give you savings pretty damn quick. So some of the apps that are out there at the moment are the, uh, uh, the uh, valve maintenance app, um, which I'll, uh, I'll do a separate video on, and the SAMIQ smart asset management app. Both been um, available for a while now. Um, I'll post the video link. I've already shown you the smart asset management app, but that takes its data from Smatic PDM maintenance station. All of the apps are designed to, to work on multiple platforms. So once you've got the data in the cloud, really you've got access securely to your site data. So you're not going to be able to write anything to site. It's purely giving you the diagnostics from site so you can generate your own KPI uh, dashboards to give you more insight into what's happening. And that, as I said, I won't go into this in too much detail, but you'll have a workstation, and um, we'll come on to that in, in more detail, and then you'll have uh, your maintenance station sat on the same system bus, going through some secure firewalls, and there is your quarantine host, which is a very low cost, cheap PC that's just taking the data from maintenance station, stripping it out, and then sending it off to your cloud-based apps or it may be that it's sending that to an on-premise app rather than off to the cloud so that's your system that's how it's built but it, it's it's all relying on your network infrastructure and your smart instruments for giving you data and all the time we're not affecting your uh, automation process at all it's completely acyclic of everything else that is going on so if we have a look um, at the next step, uh, uh, we have WinCC Professional, which is the Siemens SCADA system, and 1500 PLCs with smart instruments connected to um, uh, uh, IO or remote IO that passes the diagnostics from the instrument from the field up to to this Profinet uh, layer. And what we would have is PDM maintenance station analyzing that data and WinCC professional um, controlling the site via the PLC. Now what we have with WinCC professional now are some faceplates for our instruments to, to unleash some of the diagnostic and programming functionality to your SCADA system. And what's nice with this is you can program the alarms on the instrument so they appear on WinCC faceplates. But the beauty of that is now that it's the instrument that's giving you the level or flow alarm, it's pulling it through to SCADA, but it also pulls it through to maintenance station which then pulls it through to the apps. So you've got the loop finished with the WinCC Citrans library faceplates. So you've got two devices there collecting data for your cloud apps. So you have maintenance station, which is an open communication standard. It has no influence on the core process. So you your SCADA. I'm showing WinCC here because we have the faceplates. It can be used on greenfield or brownfield applications as long as we can get down to your open communication standard. And don't worry if you haven't got Profinet, if you've only got Profibus DP. We can put a converter here that converts Profinet to Profibus DP. Um, it's, it's plug and produced because it's open. It's got 4, 000, over 4,000 devices on there and 200 manufacturers. And it's independent of your SCADA lifecycle because we can add and increase the library on maintenance station as and when new instruments come out free of charge. So it's it's really flexible. And then we have WinCC and the SM1500 connecting to, to your process apps. Um, and one of those, for, for example, might be a PID tuning app that's available. 
So they, they, you've got the, your complete plant looked after from two boxes. Um, and hopefully when we get the virtual machine version of PDM maintenance station on version 4, we may even be able to, to run those side by side on, on the same PC. So that finishes this video off, but on a future video I'll talk and about how we can finish the loop off and, and, and what this partnership between WinCC Professional and PDM Maintenance Station can do for, for your plants. But um, uh, that was a very brief look at PDM Maintenance Station. I um, appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to, to click on that like button if you like what you see and, and register and click on the bell so you get notifications about future videos. So thanks for listening and see you again soon.